Aubrey, you were so brain broken. I know because I've seen that chatter link the same three parter series, which is supposed, which is a total of four hours, by the way, a three parter series. Each individual video is like an hour plus totaling four hours. Okay. I'm just kidding. All right. I'm joking. We've seen dads getting out of the workplace and getting on to TikTok. This is the most recent boatload of just pure cringe that I've seen. Let's take a shot. Not inherently bad. It's important to note cringe is not inherently a bad thing. One day or. Wait, where is. It, was it a different chatter that was linking it earlier? The one that said Jawbree? Am I crazy? There was a different chatter then that was linking the fucking Jeffrey Epstein clips. Hold on. We're going to watch this in a second. I wasn't linking. I don't know now. When are we watching Jobbery? Jobbery. Guillotine. Screw that execution song. Switch course. Allow democracy. We want democracy. Jobbery. They did say Jabri, but they weren't the one that was also, that was the one that was linking it. There was another person that was linking it. He's not innocent. He still was saying Jabri. He wanted me to watch the Jabri Jeffrey Epstein one. Say sorry? Fuck no. He still wants me to watch the, what do you mean say sorry? My point still stands. He wants me to fucking watch the, the three-parter Jeffrey Epstein Jabri series. Shut the fuck up, chatter. What do you mean, say sorry? Day one. It sounds the same. But do again. One day. Or day one. Now let's put it in a sentence. Five reset. <gasps> oh my god. No, I like watching cringe. I love cringe. In fact, it gives me life. Some of it, nah. Nah, nah, it deflates my balls. What you doing? What you doing? Where you at? But other cringe, I'm like, oh, yeah, I, I like that. Let's get right into that. Look like, bang. You know what I'm saying? Am I just insane? Or is that like something you guys can relate to? If so, comment below and follow me. I'm a pretty relatable 27-year-old divorced father of three. Dad content, at least recently on Reels and Instagram, seems to kind of have taken a turn into the cringe. I'm vanilla, baby. I'll choke you, well, this is not bad. I'm not talking shit. I'm talking a little bit of shit, but I'm not talking full shit. I just want to show you guys what I'm seeing here. Find you a girl. We've acquired a range of influencer papas, ranging from hunky to funky. <laughs> All with their own unique little quirks and characteristics that make me wonder if there should be a fucking age limit to the internet. A man who's a lone wolf doesn't care to be alone. He's always busy, but not with mindless distractions. He doesn't- Bro, this is so fire. It's just like, this is Debrussy shit. This is directly fucking catering. This is directly trying to fuck Barbara Pussy right here, okay? It is the most Barbara Pussy coded video I've ever seen. Oh my God. Tag along with others just to feel wanted. Instead, he's crafting his own destiny. How are these guys so handsome and they're, they're don't, they don't have wives or something? Shit, man. This is gonna be me in like five years. Our first example is a fella named Josh Hopkins. You definitely know who this guy is. He's a very wholesome content creator, or at least he was. Back when he was Tyler Tony from Dude Perfect. Just kidding, he does look a lot like him though, to be honest. Dude's a, a fucking veteran and also a US firefighter. Oorah, thin red line, motherfuckers. This is the first thing I saw of him. Baby girl, I'm going to take you shopping today. What do you want? Anything? I want a necklace with your name on it. So they know whose throat it is. Oh, and this is God. why I was like, oh, all right, well, maybe. No. Oh, no. Oh, dude, dude. Yo, they're so horny. They're so horny, bro. Why? It's just like. It's just. Oh, my God. Oh, my Lord. Oh. Cataclysmically horny.
Maybe I can, maybe I can talk a little bit of shit because you made that. Because I really don't like being mean and I don't plan on being mean. I plan on being funny and entertaining, which sometimes is just a little bit. Mean. It's working though. Look at the comments. Lamont, the divorce moms love it. I mean, yeah, it's just like, that would work on me. Not going to lie. Oh my God. You guys stop. Don't admit that. Don't admit that. Don't do it. Don't admit that. Delete your comment. Mean. I think that if I made that, I would expect a lot of hate and pushback. And I'd be like, yes, I'm an idiot. Her, there's nothing a man can say that will make me weak. I've tried that before, but I. I it's like, li listen, listen, listen. This is very like, um, what's that classic video of the dude wearing the suit and he just does this thing? And it's like the fucking. Fifty Shades of Grey soundtrack playing. It's this is we tapped into this community a while back. Like I I I know a lot about this this genre of content. It's like like elderly like older millennials that just operate in a very different level. I don't know how to describe it. It's like. It's like so sexual. It's it's gross. I, it's just like, come on, man, don't do that. Don't don't do that. It's like, you don't have to do that. I say, good girl, like I'm talking to my dogs, and then I say, shit. It's just not one of those things that's connected to a sex neuron. You know, it's more of a, a glial cell connection with uh, sufficient biomass in the environment. <laughs> This guy's a thirst trapper if you couldn't tell. If you give up on your dreams, what do you have left? I love that he's wearing that fucking Amish ass hat, which is, you know, I can't disrespect the hat. I've I had my hat era as well, but it's like pretty funny that he's doing it in 2024. And also shirtless. It's like, why do you have the hat on? You're shirtless. He's ready to show off his sweet bod and his beautiful, beautiful <laughs> eyes. And he's ready to make sweet, sweet love to anyone watching. Bang. Oh my God. Was it this guy that was the job relinker? No. It wasn't this guy that was the job relinker. Oh, it was this guy. When are you going to react to the new job re asking? I know you have a busy day, not expecting you to do it. There's like a couple chatters that have been demanding that I watch the Jobbery Jeffrey Epstein videos for like the past, like since the first one came out and I said I was going to watch it. There's like a couple chatters that come in here and fucking say like, when are you going to watch it? When are you going to watch it? And it's like, I love Jobbery, okay? But it's three, four hours long total, Okay. It's too much. Trust me, there's a lot of fucking people watching this shit. Look! Every man needs a woman open to that journey to bring the best out of him. Just oh, by the way, I have um, uh, uh, Will and Nandre and myself and Connery's pants are going to go watch Dune 2 in a little bit. It's been waiting know. on you to see. Like at the top of the hour, there's a three minute ad break letting y'all know. And... And you can avoid those ads. Doing two with the popcorn buckets. I'm going to fuck the bucket. Here's the ad right now. See, come on down. I got something to teach you. What, Sienna? <laughs> what did you just say? Oh, really? Not sure you can handle what's in this brain. What the fuck? Can I be teacher's pet? Yup, not enough men out there to do that. Ball game yep. fire. This is the um, audience. Wouldn't you like yep. to know? When do the lessons begin? Goes both ways. What's the safe word? Colorado! That's my safe word. This guy gets so many followers that absolutely love to watch him. Not only do they love Nandre, it, they're completely willing to watch real? this man do anything to get a piece of him. They just fucking want it. Everybody wants that he gets. And he ain't wrong, by the way. He absolutely gets what he wants. Oh, when he says what he outside. wants someone to fuck? wear, the comments agree with him. He's dressed like a dweeb, kind of. And he also reminds me of the dwarves from The Hobbit. Like the ones that are kind of like normal sized. Does that make sense? No, 
how they're kind of tall and shit in that movie. He looked like he'd be one of them damn dwarves eating there on that hard tack, on that lemon loaf. What do they eat in, in Lord of the Rings? Who is opium? He is, dude. He's opium as hell. Nandri's here. Hold on. And uh, Will's going to be here soon, too. What if she wants because daddy can fight? What does that even mean? Maybe I have to be a girl to understand. I love that it's just a bunch of middle-aged women, like 50, 60, year old, 70 even year old women who just, they're scrolling. Watching like family related stuff, kids being reunited with their deployed parents after three years, gender reveals, and then just this fucking guy shows up and they're like, oh, this is a whole new corner of the fucking earth. I feel like I can also show all these people's names and shit because I'm not like, I'm not taught. These are, this is awesome that this exists. This is no hate. This is all love. This is peace and love from Oompaville. This guy knows what women want. He knows that they want a strong man that submits to him. Women will naturally submit when they feel safe, protected, and led by a strong man. So if your woman is acting masculine, ask yourself if you're being a man or a little bitch. If your woman is acting masculine, you mean like being successful? <laughs> this guy knows what women want, by the way. That's the point. That's the real point of it. They want a strong man who makes them submit because he's a man. Not like physically, never touch them obviously but just like he wants that's what it is he also knows what to say to get the ladies going check this shit out that's some good dirty talk oh my you're god you're like you're my fucking daddy's girl whose hole is this oh! <laughs> no fucking way you all right hold on hey aubrey jeffrey epstein documentary shut the fuck up <laughs> shut the fuck up oh my god did you already watch dune one yeah of course i watched Dune one no i'm just going into dune two fucking dicks out dude people are man really yeah that's wild who do you think you're most like from dune uh jason momoa oh little duncan idaho yeah, moment it's so funny that his name is duncan idaho it's just like everyone has like cool ass names and he's just duncan idaho <laughs> i know well you, you'll learn a little bit more about Duncan, maybe this this uh, movie. Pe I people hope. saying you're barren? Oh, fuck you. Fuck. I'm barren, bro. No, I'm you're barren. No, you're... I'm so barren coated. Are you mm. kidding? When I shave my head and I'm bald and shit, sometimes I just float around my apartment like him. I Duncan Idaho is uh, also. Duncan Idaho is also the, the way I found out that, like, uh, Jason Momoa is actually from Iowa. What? Oh, you didn't know. This is my favorite fact. What? Bro, how, how, like, so Jason Momoa, his mic is not off. What, why are you I'm saying? just probably not talking into the SM7B. Yeah, what the fuck? Why are you saying his mic is off? Duncan, Iowa. Um, What's up, Rav? Jason Momoa looks like he is, like, he, he, he's from Hawaii, too, technically. And I think he's, like, half white, half Hawaiian. But... I always thought that he was like Australian and like Polynesian or something. Yeah, well, you know what sure. I mean? For sure. And and then I saw him without the beard in the in the Duncan Idaho uh, in the Duncan Iowa uh, look. Let's see this. And then I found out that he's actually like like I thought he was like either full blown Hawaiian, like you know some kind of yeah. like poly, right? No, this motherfucker is from. He grew up in Iowa, bro. Is he still married or dating uh, uh, Lenny Kravitz's ex? What's her name? I don't know if he, but uh, yeah. Oh, he also, yeah, yeah, I think so. I invented the eyebrows for it, man. Yeah, he he just, it's like one of those situations where like you know Johnny Depp is like also not like some indecipherable like British person. <laughs> like when you find out that these guys are like from Kentucky and Wait, you're like, why Johnny do Depp you isn't British? <laughs> Wait, you didn't know this either? What? Johnny Depp might be the most British, non-British person of all time. Dog, man. he literally is from, like, Kentucky. He owns Borough, Kentucky, bro. <laughs> That's what I mean. It's, like, so weird when these guys, like, they give off, like, Australian vibes. Is Jason Momoa Hispanic? I'm ambiguously Australian. No, I don't know how to fuck to describe it. It's, like, I think it's just jewelry and, like, looking weird. Automatically, people are just, like, oh... Like, this guy is some fucking weird guy. He's, like, British. Oh, my God. She is pregnant. Oh, yeah, she's a, she's a pseudo-pregnant, so she's been, like... Oh, she still has the boob thing? Yeah. Why is Nandra just as an undercover cop? Oh, my God.
Come he on, just man. came at you so fucking Who hard. Who said that in that's, chat? Who hurt you, man? That's so. That's such Whoever a. Whoever said that in chat, you have no drip. Okay. <laughs> they, they just locked you down, dude. All You're right. arrested. <laughs> this ain't true. Dude, this shirt's awesome. Look, it's the guy from Occupy. Yeah, the shirt is actually the back is cooler than the front. I know. But kind of the sad part with me. It is. But you know, what are you gonna do? <laughs> Weebs out, baby. Weebs out. I thought it was Samoan, but he's just he was just Jason Momoan. Fucking got him. Wait, let's see. Let's look at his Wikipedia this is page. Actually blowing my mind a little bit. Jason Namakaea Momoa is an American actor. He made his acting debut as Jason Ione in the syndicated action drama series uh Baywatch Hawaii. Which was followed by portrayals of Ron and Dex and sci-fi science fiction, Stargate Atlantis, blah 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 blah, Cal Drogo. But yeah, he was um he he was born in Hawaii, and I think he's like his father's native Hawaiian, but well, his mother's German Irish and Pawnee ancestry. Okay. So he's like half white. And he grew up in Iowa for a big part of his life. Which is why it was really strange when I heard him talk for the first time without like an accent or anything. Because, you know, like, I feel like actors always, they always put on like a, like, he's like a sexy guy. He can't talk like this. He can't oh, yeah. talk like me. He can't be like, I mean, hello. That's not a sexy picture from 2000. Yeah, I mean, that's, he's doing, he's doing Stargate Atlantis. He had white boy swag. Uh -huh. But like, but like when you hear him speak, like, I think it was a video that I watched like during COVID where he was um i think he was like talking about how he loves climbing and i was like this motherfucker was white as hell what the hell is this shit oh, he's the climbers huh yeah oh no he's he's not with lisa benet anymore damn that was like one of the the best hollywood relationships man i was invested wait really no wait did you see the some any of the follow-up stuff from who the fuck did i marry no, what happened? Uh, did you see the one of the guy who says that he was dating her? Like the her the ex? girl, the who the fuck did I marry girl? Yeah, but like, was the first one she dated after? Oh, really? Yeah. After the whole breakup with mm -hmm. uh, Legion? Yeah, let me find it. This might blow your mind. I don't, don't know if don't, he's talking yeah, make theoretically. Sure your phone yeah, yeah, yeah. Is hidden, of course. Will Neff headed soon. This man's never on time. Will's well, like be there at seven. Uh, God, who sent me this TikTok? This is going to blow your mind. Like, we need to know where Nandre got that shirt. Now they want to know where your shirt is. It's from a company called Rucking Fodden. They do like a limited drop every week, and it's always like cool movies or games and stuff. No, no podcast question mark. We're going to watch Dune 2. We're doing your mom, chatter. I'm actually so excited. Hassan trying to blend in with whites by doing some race investigations. White people's favorite activity. <laughs> <laughs> Where would you Discord it? Yeah. Let's see. Do, 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 do. I dated Risa Tisa. I know right now y'all like now Tom, you dated let me Risa say, Tisa. First and foremost, I'm pretty sure he's talking about Risa Tisa as an idea. Okay. However. This guy says some of the craziest shit I have ever heard. In so it's not it's not actually. I'm like, not a hundred percent sure. I need. I need let's the go to the comments. The I don't think he's saying the Risa Tisa, but a Risa Tisa type. Oh, okay. Some people aren't listening. He dated a Risa Tisa, not the Risa Tisa. I don't know though. So uh, yeah, I've dated her multiple times. So yeah, so. he's saying he dated a Risa Tisa, but he's clickbaiting. Which, you know, do it, King. Wendy out here. The thing y'all got to understand is I went through the comments and I saw so many judgmental comments about, you know, what she did wrong, red flags she should have saw, all this stuff, right? But at the same time, it's like all these people who are commenting, yeah, y'all do the same thing. And like when people comment under my videos and they're like, well, Todd, where do you find me these women at with all these problems and all these women with all these issues, you are those women. That's what's so crazy to me. Everybody's ignoring the fact that they have their own personal bag of BS when they out here commenting in the comments. What? You are the problem. I am the problem. We all are the problem. We don't know what we're doing. 
an insane take to say that she was the problem in the entire who the fuck did I marry, you know? Sure, she like overlooked some like little things and she probably could have picked up. Well, not some little things, some big things too, but like uh, ultimately she was desperate. I think that's what it was. But uh-huh. like but like I wouldn't say but that's victim. She yeah. was a victim. Yeah. This I don't know why he's it. like assuming the role of Legion in this circumstance where he's like, <laughs> I'm crazy. I lie a lot. <laughs> I lie a lot for sport. Doing how I dated this person. But on the or maybe he's trying to say he's six foot four in a very long and convoluted manner. <laughs> first date, she told me, like literally in the first couple conversations, she's like, yeah, you're toxic, I can tell already. And I'm like, what do you mean? She's like, you've done like two or three things right now that just basically are red flags and I should get up and leave right now. Now me, I'm sitting there like, what the hell is she talking about? And she's like, well, for one, you have your phone face down on the table, eating and talking to you. Insane. Why would I have my phone on the table with a distraction? Or have it face up as a distraction because I get a lot of notifications on my phone even if I'm not using it. But the thing is, her logic was sound because most dudes be hiding information or hiding what they got going on with other women you know on their phone so i get that but (laughs) bro is beard fishing brother (laughs) do you think this is fishing anything at this point (laughs) fuck you mean bro yeah it's like saying santa claus is beard fishing like nobody has any uh, nobody thinks this dude has a solid jawline under that beard okay (laughs) the fuck do you mean oh the, the assumption that all men are cheating and that's why they keep their phones down on the table. Jesus, man. I mean, he's just he just voluntarily assumed the he's role of a bad guy for some reason. Reported so hard. Everyone wants to eat from the story. I think so too. I think he's a bit of a scammer. It seems. Eventually, he explains how this girl that he was dating is hurt because the last guy she dated lied about having HIV and had an anal fetish and would only put it in her butt. That's where this TikTok goes. Okay. We don't I, have to watch all okay, seven we're, minutes. We're, I'm, man, I'm clicking away from that. It goes we were, before, before we got here, we were watching Divorce Dad Talk, which Sunday is... fun day, baby. <laughs> I don't get the problem. Everyone knows black men don't cheat. Exactly. Is it clearly? You say true. that. Oh, yeah. That's someone said that you to got me. It, you, you got Whose it. hole is this? Yeah. I'd be like, well, in here, right? Sir, I do. Right, you're that's, in it's, the moment. It's so, it's whose hole is this? Guys, is that out of pocket as fuck or what? I tell you what, if I was a girl, none of that shit would work. But guess what? I'm a guy. My point is invalid. My point is moot. What is this hole? Whose is this? What's it for? I do what with this guy really loves the two words good girl. And also, if you don't eat ass, you're not his type. So he loves calling you good girl and then getting his ass ate, which is very strange when you Base. date me i have one rule you must eat ass i bet it stinks though i bet he eats a lot of protein so he probably poops a lot maybe i'm just oh. too acoustic to understand that i don't know what do you guys think about that though by the way the whole the whole eating cake thing yeah, having your cake and eating it too that's what he wants or eat your cake and have it too i forget whatever old ted k said masculine women need to get the fuck out you need to be reformed you need to be you need to be it's 15th century now right no more no more thinking no more talking you need to sit there and eat ass Taking a woman out of her masculine era and putting her in her feminine era is a real man's job. It's not for little boys. It's not for little boys like you. It's for big men like me. My guy is a bit quick to judge, though, for being a sort of fucking freak weirdo. He's anti-freak weirdo. I mean, what do I mean by that? He doesn't like it whenever you make thirst traps. He's kind of a gatekeeper, it seems like. If you find this sexy, please unfollow me. Daddy's home. Trying really hard not to show his erection in his pants because he is a homosexual man. I'm pretty good friends with the gays. He embarrassed himself on the internet for the world to see. You gotta love it, right? Whenever I see stuff like this, I like to remove myself from the situation and see it for what it really is, or try to, at least. And if you think about what is really happening here, it's a 37-year-old man who is posting thirst traps. Sometimes I like to (laughs) sit on my tire swing. No, there's nothing wrong with that. It's just kind of- he's like he's showing that he's got a soft side, bro. Tire swings fucking rock. Yeah, he's he's showing that he's like a bit of a soft boy. He has a hard, crusty exterior. He's 37 years old. That dude is only five years older than me, like about to be fucking four years older than me. That's insane. Dude. What the fuck? Yo, steroids really, bro. You're rough old, you man. up, dude. I am old. I'm guys, I am. 32 years old. I'm about to be 33 in July. Jesus.
Christ. Once you're, I mean, once you're past 30, so how old are you? 31. Fucking old <laughs> piece of shit. Exactly, bro. Exactly. <laughs> Will's 34. Yes, this is true. Damn. He's old as hell, dog. He's, He's old as out. hell. You gotta take care of him. Oh, man. He needs crutches to get around. What are you doing? This is an old man. We be out here old as fuck. Yeah, this is crazy. Northern Lion is 34. Okay, we know, Lil Bear. Northern Lion facts. It's kind of funny to think about. Like, isn't he? <laughs> no. Somebody said yesterday Jerma's 50. No, Jerma is older. He's like 37, maybe? I don't know. how. Let's see. Let's see. I thought he's like almost like how my, old as old as my grandparents or something. Jerma. I mean, basically. Yeah. Yeah. That's yeah. like 50 in streamer. 38 is like your old guard. You're you're the CEO of Twitch at, at this point. You know what I mean? You might as well be. <laughs> you are old, but you take good care of your health. Thank you for acknowledging that I'm old. The fuck? But you're, but you're a healthy, a healthy 32, man. Yeah. You'd be a healthy like, 32 maybe or you'd be a me a 31. You know? I've... Uh, you want to trade? something else but then again he has an uh like a he's a, he does adult stuff he's got oh. spicy links so it makes sense this is just his grift it's just it's his job it's you know i'm a youtuber he's okay. this guy luckily that Dude, is how the more. fuck is he posting that man how's that over that's a damn children's app what you're posting you audio like that i'm not even sure if i can show that here i'll do a thirst trap ready i'll do a thirst trap ready guys that's not real what the fuck Uba is actually shredded i don't know why he's like Yes, bro. Oh, fucking fuck. dude, look at you, man. God damn, dude. I'm gonna get banned now. Don't do that. <laughs> Don't. I'm gonna get banned. Yes, no. Oompa is fucking. Oompa Loompa. Oompa. Caleb is legitimate. Oh, oh what goodness. the fuck? Yeah. You could cut somebody with those things. Yeah. Man. When I say he's cut, I meant like his toenails. <laughs> What is this? Where the fuck is he? Hold on. Let me what? see if I can find a... Vitaly. Jump scare. <laughs> He's just like making fun of these dudes, but... What you got? You got a little phone? Where the hell is... I'm surprised she doesn't drool as much. I don't need drooling. Um, she only drools when she's hungry. Mm. 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 He used to post uh, shirtless gym photos of himself. I don't know why. Oompa is one of the only dudes. Uh, he's also one of the only dudes that's like homies with all of those fucking content creators that are, that are constantly up my asshole for everything that I say and do uh, that uh, that farm. But he's actually a good. There you go. Yeah, yeah there he's he, in good shape. No, he's like he's like pretty. He's mm -hmm. in pretty great shape. Jim in the camo sweats is a vibe. Yeah, I mean he's Texas. Yeah, hook him. What's Josh think? By the way, don't try harassing him. He knows how to deal with haters. When trolls come in my live stream and talk shit, my life is better off being blocked. I was exposed to this against my will. He's a real man. He doesn't back down from a fight. We've got proof. Bro got into an epic battle at Nobu what? in the Bahamas. He went to jail. What is going on? A little bit of roid rage, it seems like. Wait, also, to be clear, I don't You're know if he's a father, but he Nobu refers to him. Insane. Wait, he... Why is TMZ tracking this man? I don't Self understand. Daddy? Turkeys won't be the only thing daddy will be stuffing this Thanksgiving. That's how he got to the top of the list there. Let me know what you think. Out of 10, how cringe. I think that's a solid 9 out of 10 for me, a 27-year-old man. Yo, Our next man. guy. What the fuck, dude? In what? November, it's a 9 out of 10, I think. Dude, it's like, bro, that's that's straight up Debrussy. That is 100%. This man has like... This man is catnip for the cougars, okay? He's just posting shit specifically if you are over the... Vibes-wise, you can be any age, but, like, vibes-wise, if you are, like, a 35-year-old divorced mom mm -hmm. who fucking smokes a pack of menthols a day, mm -hmm. that is who he is, like... Cracked. That wow. is who he, he is tailoring his content towards, okay? And he's feasting. But I feel like at the same time, too, like, out of all of the content creators I know... You would be the person who would be most likely to use a really cringe pickup line. I don't use pickup lines at all. I, people always say stuff like this, like I don't, I don't use any pickup lines whatsoever. I just—it's called a face card, dude. And, and I'm out here. I'm writing poetry. You know, I'm taking like full photo shoots. I gotta work my ass off. Do the zoom in face thing. I can't because it's so high. You always have to stretch for it. 
That's it. It's That's funny it. that you only have like seven. You don't Wait, really? Them. Yeah. Your your OBS is way more streamlined than I expect. It's because I uh, I use it everywhere. So like it's so easy to just like recreate this on any computer I want yeah, to. Yeah, that's true. That's nice. You can send the the profile. Yeah. Well, not not even. I I don't even use like profiles. I just make it every really? time because it's so like. Cause I had never used Zoom. I don't even use the Elgato, the IRL backpack, and the camera ones. I don't use at all. What did you use the other day? When you were just like, oh, I'm just gonna do no, I have, I have a back. I have a IRL backpack, but I'm saying like that one is just. These are tests. I don't even have them on. Shit. Gotta get a real mixer. My mixer sucks ass. Yeah, see, it's like never on. Huh. It's not even a thing I can use. Huh. And your room is way cleaner than I expected. This is very dirty right now. You think? Dude, I got fucking yeah, like hummus bro. and shit right you here. Have lunch. Yeah, this is yeah but it's, this is dirty. My 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 room is dirty as hell. How'd you end up getting the tattoos finally? Um <clears throat> I scrubbed it very hard. That's it. Nandra needs to get a bit closer to the mic. Where's the Glock, though? I got you. Hold on a sec. Oh, let me see that thing. <laughs> Holy crap. Yo, mom, check it out. <laughs> this is awesome. For how much Nandra clearly watches the stream, he doesn't talk into the mic. It's fucked up. You're, yeah, they're man. Right. Listen. SM7Bs are great mics and all, but it's really annoying how you have to talk right into them. Yeah. You know? I'm sorry. Well, I guess streaming is the most difficult job, isn't it's it? It's so hard, man. There you go. That's the thank it's God. It's brutal. Me moving my mic every 10 seconds. Yeah. It's, it's not easy. People think it is. But... I is mm -hmm. Johnny Boy, a.k.a. John Irwin. Do something to me oh. that I can... Johnny Ooh, Boy is... This is my favorite type, too, because this one's, like, kind of gay-coded. Mm. Like boomers have this thing where they like found out filters and they just over apply filters and it's awesome. Like you look like you look like you doused yourself in a vat of Vaseline when you put that filter <laughs> on. No human looks like that. Why would you want to look like that? I don't get it. Anyway. Big soft teddy bear at the group. I like love you just the way. First time on your Mac, you know. Yeah, look at look at this. Look at and this he shit. employs slightly different tactics than our last stud. Hey, I was just thinking. A real woman really doesn't care about how much money a man may have. All she really wants is to be loved. Broke boy. <laughs> fucking broke boy. Look at him positioning himself as like, yeah. By the way, I'm broke as fuck, dog. <laughs> uh, broke is a joke. You can't buy that. 100. But his comment section is just as full of ladies looking for love. Oh. <laughs> Look at this video of him dancing to the Muffin Man. He's so handsome. Do you know the muffin oh my man? God! Look at this filter, bro. Like, oh, he's got the the blue eyes from Dune, man. Oh yo yo! Why are you trying to look like that? What the fuck? This is like that's the Quizod Hotterach, man. This, Show they, some respect. I just realized, you know what? You know what Midwestern mommies want? <laughs> Different variants of Santa Claus. Both of these dudes, both of these dudes are Santa coded. Like, what the fuck's going on? You just want a jolly guy who gives you presents, I Love think. Santa kind of goes hard, though. Yeah, he's on that melange. <laughs> oh, do you know? Good morning. I baked today, but no muffins. But some other goodies. Lol, good morning. I don't know the muffins, man. I love this video. It's so funny and interesting. You're so amazing. I make Aww. blueberry and cinnamon muffins Christmas morning on Coffee They Love Them. You're my muffin, man. If you want muffin... Like, imagine seeing your, like, aunt on this shit. Ugh. Like, imagine your aunt's posting like this. I'll be like, what are you... Oh, no. Like, it's just so bad. Ugh. It's so bad. you my muffin, man. The worst is, like... Sometimes when you're on TikTok, it pushes like numbers from your contacts profile pages. So oh yeah. You literally could accidentally run into your aunt just thirst commenting oh, on my Santa god. with a nipple piercing. Like that would be brutal. Oh my god. Forever angle, baby. <sighs> oh hell yeah. This is like Jesus. He's hitting an international market in a way that the other one doesn't. Like, this is no longer just Barbusi. This is Abuelitas. You know what I mean? He's fucking, he's cooking them up. Soft serve. Mm. If you want muffin, is all my favorite. One is all I need for life and beyond. Always and forever angle, baby. Lol, if cake. Yeah, and look at the Santa emojis. I'm telling you, 
I'm telling you, okay, abuelitas as well. They all want a version of a Santa Claus. Muffins, I love all kinds. What is your favorite one, baby? Why, Some of my favorite. Banana, cherry, peach, strawberry, pineapple, pepper, mushroom, eggplant. What the fuck is going on? Thank you for making me smile, Teddy Bar. I love blueberry muffins with a cup of black coffee. It's a good okay, thing. Have a nice day. So, There's all this happiness, all these beautiful comments from the ladies and, and Johns. This is like a very different type of the internet. Like my, I feel like. I feel like what I see on the internet is very different than what these ladies see. And the way that they operate on the internet is very different than the way that like people in my fan base operate. I guess mm -hmm. they thirst after me a little bit too, but like the algorithm, my mom strong, literally man. spends $200 daily on his TikTok live. Shut the fuck what? up. No, Why no, would you admit that he's lying. Public? He's lying. He's lying. Can you take, can you do my make a wish? I just want a piggyback ride from you. Okay. Maybe they're lying. lying. Maybe lying. They're lying. They just want my attention. Swear. I swear. <laughs> Post the receipts. Bro, two hundred dollars a day? What the fuck? Two little war. Get your mom the fucking thirst after me, then chatter. What the hell is this shit? <laughs> you got to do another Santa. Shit. There's hella moms in here, you know. Get your mom to be another one. Bro, if there's there one individual who had to throw the fucking wrench in the entire spoon, so the fuck is I, I want to know like, your I'm whole life story now because okay, never, of one three-word comment. You. you don't have any moms in your chat, bro. No, they didn't hear no you. No moms in the chat. No moms in the chat. They're, Only fists. They. <laughs> They definitely didn't hear you. Chat, type one if you're a mom. All right, let's see. Okay. And be honest, no lying, okay? Yeah, we'll get you. We'll get you. We'll Aubrey's find out. I know Aubrey's a mom. I know Aubrey. Okay, you got a few. All right. Everyone's a mom now. Everyone's a mom, but I'm the only one mothering. Yeah, that's okay. true. Do her what? Who heard her? The muffin man. The muffin man. The muffin man. The only thing that's more concerning than this person's trauma is John's big, insanely blue eyes. Dude. They both have blue you eyes. Both me. of the guys. There's a bit of a theme in his videos that raises concern from me for the mental well-being of his audience. However, we'll watch three videos and then I want you guys to see if you can tell what I'm referring to. Give me just one more night. That He's an amazing saint. That, that last one is that last one was crazy. Like it's just I did not think he was gonna do fucking reggae after those two. Like Christian gospel, country, and then hit the reggae one. He's got so much got range. Taste, bro. He's got range, dude. You're of course, you idiots. How did you not know? I can see you wondering what the hell was going on there. Now, you might think he's just lip syncing. At first, I thought so too, but it, I, I read the comments. They love him. His co Some of his commenters actually think that he's a singer and they want him to perform. They don't realize that. Oh my God. Oh. This is kind of crazy. I guess they're having fun with it. Well, yeah, you know. I, you see a see. fucking TikToker <laughs> and you think they're actually singing the song? That's nuts. And he's lip syncing. Oh. Like, you are way too fucking old for the internet at that point. Women. Why oh. are they so zoomed in? It's like to see, to show his eyes, I suspect. Yeah, for he's sure. He's got the most like Otacon ass glasses too. <laughs> like, this is some Hideo Kojima ass fucking shit right here from like early 2000s. Our beautiful lovers. He does have vastly different vocal ranges for each of his performances. I will say he's incredibly talented. He's a modern day Leonard yeah. Cohen. Just wanted to know, do you perform anywhere? No, I'm from open. down under Sydney, Australia. Do you ever sing your own music? Your voice. <laughs> Those blue eyes and that cowboy hat are elite. Thank you, Piss Jokar. I like that name. <laughs> for some reason, I feel like that guy's trolling, but I don't know. But Sandra ain't. She loves this guy. Take this beautiful performances Wait, on the road, John. We need some John Irwin oh. originals. This <laughs> Joker God commented damn. on another video. They bro, you can't be fucking coming in here looking like that, dude. What the fuck, bro? Bro, okay, okay, relax. Relax. All right, bye, stream. Relax, bro. <laughs> Duncan. Relax with the Duncan fucking Idaho. Okay. All right. Paul Atreides. Oh my God, you have a chainsaw man necklace, too? He's wearing the Put fucking. Yojis that I got him in Japan. Sheesh. God damn, son. Do I have to change now? Like, I feel like I'm underdressed. No, you're Let's fine. Let's go. All right, we got to go. I got to uh, go get my fuck bucket. We do. Dude. Oh, do we, gonna get be, like, uh, shit, do we get him? Uh, do we get him? We got to get Okay, guys, we got to go. We're going to go watch. Uh, we're going to go watch Dune 2. 
Um, and uh, yeah, tomorrow I'll give you guys a give you guys my take. He's the Quisak Hadarak. Uh, love what? you all. Oh, what, I say? what? What do you want to say? <laughs> Will has been He's like His dyslexic ass Been trying to dude, read Dune and everything A dude doing the audiobook Into the stream He's been stimming The Gom Jabbar bit Since Twitch yeah. yeah he's been He's, he's been all He's been so invested In Dune it's crazy Wait wait Can what? I make a suggestion What is Connor coming here Or no This song What End with the Dune chant We are Okay I like that I like it. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Yes.